Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back and thank you for tuning in here to my little channel. You're watching the Emerald Scale, official YouTube home of my home-based breeding hobby, Emerald Scale Exotics. And I'm your host as always, Frank Emerald. And today I want to bring you a quick update of my two Razorback Musk Turtles. So you guys already know the one on the right over here. That's my female Razorback Musk. Her name is Gaia, formerly known as Bubba. Um, pretty much when I first got her, I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. She was a very young, I think only like two to four month old hatchling. And um, she's been with me now for about three and a half years. So she's probably pushing about four years old. She is approximately four and a half inches in length. That's her carapace length or her shell, just in case you guys need to know. Um, <laughs> that's a uh, pretty good growth spurt on her. When I got her, she was only about maybe one inch uh, long. So she was a tiny little, tiny little turtle thing. And now she's just glowing up. She is actually quite chubby. Um, so I try to limit her feeding because I don't want her to be too obese. And uh, that's her. Those are her three companions there. The Ambuna African Cichlids, that's an electric blue, that's an Aratus right there, the guy with the yellow and black stripes, and then that one down there, I'm not too sure what his uh, exact classification is, but he, that little yellow guy, he's pretty cool. And over here is my big male, Yggdrasil. Now, I got him from my uh, friends over at Reptile Island. They actually um, believe he's a wild-caught specimen. They got him from a wholesaler. Um, and he wasn't doing too great when I got him. They actually gave him to me for a really good price, 50 bucks. Um, can't beat that. But uh, I've nursed him back to health. He's been here now for about nine months, and he's doing really, really well now. Um, I really can't complain with him. He's just an amazing character. He is a really fun companion to have. Now, for those of you who are wondering, well, how fun can a turtle really be? Because they're not handleable animals, really. Um, I mean, you can definitely interact with them. You can handle them minimally. But for the most part, um, you just kind of want to be careful and always wash your hands very well before and after handling them. Just to make sure you don't uh, pass over anything. And most importantly, so that you yourself don't get anything. Because as you guys know, turtles, aquatic turtles especially, they do everything in their water so yeah just make sure cleanliness and hygiene is always number one and you guys can see there he's got a lot of algae growth going on in his shell that's actually on purpose Gaia has it going on too and I think it's actually pretty cool I've seen some videos out there of people with full grown musks and they're pretty much full of algae where they got like this nice little moss bloom on the back of their shells so that's what I'm shooting for with those two. That's why I haven't scrubbed them down. And um, I'm just feeding them. They pretty much eat 95%, 98% mealworms and mealworm pupae. Um, and I always dip them in this Herptivite by Repcal. It's basically a multi-vitamin powder. <clears throat> Since they don't get a great variation in their diet and the worms themselves are gut loaded but not you know, with a great variation either. I use the supplement over here to ensure that they're getting all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. They're also set up with their own basking lights and underwater basking platforms. So those platforms are pretty much all the way submerged and it brings them out of the water 70 to 80 percent of their entire shell. So that's a pretty good amount to get them nice and warmed up. And then up above they have a shared UVB light it's a little bit on the strong side for them it's actually a desert bulb um, but it is a little bit higher than what you normally would put a bulb for them and since they are sharing it and only getting about half the exposure I went ahead and adjusted the power output so that is that um, they're doing really well guys so I'm just gonna let you enjoy a couple more minutes here that's pretty much all I've got to say about them. Um, I'm looking forward to a nice little breeding project here in the future. So for now, stay tuned. And um, I'll go more into depth about caring for them. You know, temperatures, how to set up their tanks, and all that good stuff. So thanks a lot. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And share the videos, please, guys. Thank you for all the support. Love all my subscribers out there. And also share the links to your videos below. 
Remember, it doesn't matter how many reptiles you have. If you have any, go ahead and put it out there, expand and promote the hobby. And thank you guys for watching. Fish took that one. Not supposed to be getting that much protein, but what can you do? <laughs> Fish, that is. <laughs>